and it's good to uh, give people, you know, um, a heads up before starting a program so they know ahead of time so that they don't feel so defeated when they go through it. Just know when you start recovery, it's going to get worse. You're going to feel like shit constantly. But people have this feeling that, well, I'm going to do this recovery program and I'm going to start feeling good. Why don't I feel good? You know, I just started yesterday and I still feel horrible. Actually, I've oh my God, I feel worse. Oh my God, I feel worse. Like, this isn't working. This is horse shit. I spent blue, blue, blah, blue, blue. And I'm not, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore. Or whatever, this is stupid. Like, come on, like, I'm not going to dance in a room. Like, that's not going to work. Like, then other mentalities kick in. Right, the doubt kicks in. Your limbic system says, "Are you fucking stupid? Just throw that out. Don't give up. Give up." Right? So people give up because for some reason they think that if I start this program, if I pop that DVD in, or if I start streaming the program online, or listen to the Audible, that after I listen to a couple chapters, you know, and I do, you know, I go for a walk the one day, and I do my visuals the other day, and I. You know, did the uh, the five key elements of recovery. I start following it. That that night, let me check. Okay, I've been doing this for eighteen hours. Um, I haven't seen an improvement. I don't know. Do I feel? Do I see an improvement? No, nope, nothing. So then, and then, of course, with recovery, you're gonna feel worse, and it's all over the place. It's like, right. <laughs> so people start to give up because they think for some reason when you do something it's supposed to improve you're not doing this to feel better no 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 during this process you're not going to feel better you're going to feel horrible then what's the fucking point because recovery comes as a consequence of you doing the work of you feeling like shit for a long time and being okay with feeling like shit taking the resistance away taking the fight away taking the battle away when you get to a point where you're comfortable with your discomfort when you got when you get discomfortable when you actually can ask the question you know what if i have this symptom for another five years i don't care i'm okay with that and you go ahead and still live life fully with no with no uh, restraints or any sort of restriction that's when recovery comes as a consequence. When you do all the exposure, when you run towards it, and the fear alarms are turned off, that's when recovery comes and chases you, and you don't even notice it. But people think that there's this switch that goes off after a week or two days, and they get upset and they give up. And that, those are the people that don't recover because they, you know what? They're just not meant for recovery. They're not strong enough. They can't stay on the path. And they think it's a switch that you quickly, like a pill that you take and everything goes poof. Well, it's not like that. Recovery is the hardest thing you'll ever fucking do any time in your life. So once you recovered, you can say, you know what? I earned this. And you enjoy it that much more. You know what they should give? special medals for people that recover they should they should have a fucking parade you should get 10 million dollars you should get a a home out in the mountains you should get a you know a lamborghini something big a bunch of things that are big they should do that because that'll motivate people to stick to it